good morning students now see this revision is common for 7th and 8th standard division we are dealing with it is a bridge course no so whatever is important and people generally have students generally have problem in doing division when decimals and points are involved in between and zeros are involved so don't be afraid if you know the rule then there is no need to worry at all you follow the rules and you will get through it so for that we will take two three examples just see now this you everybody knows five table i am not going to write it over here again okay now see yesterday also i have told you first you think about first number if it is not if it is smaller than the divisor you can directly think of first two numbers so i am going to consider 1515 we know 5 3s are 15 and remainder you get 0 0 okay now as per rule you are going to take this one down is one divisible by 5 no it is not divisible so 5 zeros are 0 this step is very important 1 minus 0 is 1 now there is point so you take this point over here and then take this zero down you have 10 are you understanding me what i am doing very crucial step now 5 Two's are ten. You are left with zero. Are you understanding me? What you are taking from here? It is zero again. You have to divide zero by five. Five zeros are zero. Don't leave any number which you are taking down. Okay. Now this remains zero minus zero is zero. Now you take five. Five ones are five, and your remainder will be now zero. Now you multiply these two and check if you get this answer. See, five ones are five, five zeros are zero, five twos are ten. So zero here carry over one. Five zeros are zero, one over here. Five threes are fifteen. After three numbers, point is there. So after three numbers, you get point. You cross check also. With yesterday's formula, I have told you, okay, dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. But your remainder is zero. This is your quotient, this is your dividend, and this is your divisor. So dividend is equal to quotient into divisor or divisor into quotient plus remainder. Remainder is zero, so there is no question of adding it. You just this multiply these two, and you get this answer. Did you understand how to get point and when to take zero? Okay, we will take one more example, which is somewhat similar to this. I'll do it this side. See now. Okay, now instead of putting point over here, I'll shift it. Some students make mistake here three and directly they give point, so that is not to be done. Now I'll take fifteen point fifth. I'll shift this point. Fifteen point one zero zero five, and let me divide this by five. Okay, now see what your answer will be. Okay, let's see what your answer is now. Now I'll consider first two numbers. So five threes are fifteen. Zero zero. Now see, when I took one, it was not divisible, so I put five zeros as zero, and again one was there. Then point I gave, and I took this number. Okay, now look over here. It is zero and zero. I have point, so I'm supposed to be giving the point. So this point will go over here. And I will take this one down. After point, which number is there? You have to take it down. So I have taken one. Up till here, is it clear? But is one divisible by five? No. So I have to do five zeros are zero. Five zeros are zero. At a time, only one number. Again, one remains. Now you have right to take this zero. Now I have five twos are ten. Now again, zero remains. Okay. Now I am taking this zero again. Again, five zeros are zero. And now you take this five. You have five ones are five, and remainder zero. Did you notice numbers are same? Three zero two zero one. Three zero two zero one. Here point is shifted. After three numbers, you have point. Yeah, we have shifted point this side. Therefore, quotient also point got shifted this to your left hand side. Are you understanding me? 
okay please be very specific follow the rules you will get to know what the division is it is very simple you should not forget that at a time one number you have to take now there are certain numbers for example we will take this is first example this is second example and this is third example in third example we take zero after giving point so let us see for example 579 divided by 5 very easy 5 ones are 5 zero now you take seven again five ones are five you take two remain now you take nine five fives are twenty five how much remains four now you give point and because here nothing is there nothing is there means it is five seventy nine point zero means five seventy nine only no so after giving point here after giving point zero was there so i took zero After giving point here, one was there, so I took one down over here. Are you understanding me? See this one, I am taking down over here. So after giving point here, zero is there, so I am taking zero now, because I have not written this point zero. Only this number is there. That is what we do generally. Five seventy nine means it is five seventy nine point zero. That you should remember. Okay. Now forty. So five x r forty, and now your remainder is zero. You multiply these two, you will get the same answer. See, five eights are forty. Five fives are twenty-five plus four, twenty-nine. Five ones are five, six, seven. Five ones are five. After one number point is there. After one number point is there. Five seventy-nine point zero is only five seventy-nine. Have you got the difference, everybody? Please try to understand. The concept is easy. You should you should know what you are doing. Okay, your concept should be clear i hope it is clear everyone okay now please do some division problems on your own for example homework i am giving try out okay i am giving easy examples so i will give 27.004 divide this by 2 divide by 2 this is first and second i will give 389 Divide by two. Only two examples for homework. Try by yourself. Okay. Cross check by multiplying dividend and divisor, and see if uh, sorry quotient and uh, divisor, and see if it is coming equal to dividend. Remember the formula. What is the formula? Dividend, dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder is this clear everybody okay so please remember this formula and carry out your calculations okay so that's all from my side for today students thank you